dawn off the French North African port of Oran brings United Nations the best news yet. A gigantic American invasion force is landing. A second front is at hand. Scenes here at Oran are typical of successful occupations from Algiers on the Mediterranean to Casablanca on the Atlantic. Coastal guns guarding Oran and Merz El Kabir drop a few shells into the harbor. But everywhere, French resistance is hardly more than a gesture. From transports standing offshore, United States troops observe the action, await the order to go in. They go in armored snub-nosed assault boats, well protected from fire. Wading ashore, the Americans establish beachheads exactly as planned months in advance. Supplies and equipment follow with a miracle of coordination and efficiency. Everything is carried out according to schedule. Losses to French shipping are slight. French casualties during sporadic engagements are treated by American first aid and Navy doctors. The American entry into the historic city of Oran is a memorable event. For in seizing control of France's strategic North African ports, the United States is striking the first blow toward bringing about the collapse of the Axis. Troops first bombard the natives with leaflets printed in French, bearing a message from President Roosevelt. Instructed to conduct themselves courteously toward the populace, the army takes over without incident. A French hero of another war is honored. Americans have always been friends of France. French soldiers await only the call from loyal countrymen to align themselves with forces against the Axis. Natives of Oran look with interest upon the Americans of whom they've heard so much. Gape with wonder as a Signal Corps trooper contacts his regiment by field telegraph. First to be seized are Oran's four aerodromes. Paratroops took over Blida and Maison Blanche, the principal fields in Algiers. Consolidating their positions, United States mechanized units move quickly to cut railway lines and highways to join United States forces in the Northwest with the British in Libya. For with the Axis thrown out of Africa, one prong of Hitler's pincers to strangle the Middle East is utterly destroyed. Of far greater significance, when the United Nations hold North Africa, the Axis will be open to attack from Sicily to Mermonsk. African oil tanks are in allied hands. Power plants are taken over. Railway lines are operated by experts from America. Trucks can now haul supplies overland. Down the excellent coastal highway, American infantrymen swing along on the road to Tunisia, the last Axis stronghold in Africa. Opening phase of what military experts regard as a second front of major importance. The American occupation of North Africa may well prove to be the turning point of the war.